Whew. Had a breath. Hiked way about way up in here with the uh, sampling tools. Amy and I were out here recently and noticed this nice old river channel. You see how it's kind of gravelly there? It's really gravelly and then it goes down to larger rocks. That's where I'm going to, in this zone here, I'm going to pick away at this. Classify to a quarter inch. Take about a good half to three quarter bucket. Hike all the way out with it. And what we're going to do today is set up the dry washer in a different, a whole different location. I think there's good gold. So let's get this sample and get it back. <clears throat> how red that dirt is. I think that's just laden with iron. Okay guys, we're at the different location. And I just ran that sample of red that is. I'm gonna go ahead and run it twice. It's nice and dry, but I want an indicator of any of the finest gold or anything. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the clean out in this bucket. We're gonna run some of this wash, the new secret wash, and then I'll take both samples back and pan them at the same time. Well, unfortunately, the Southern wash I found, tributary, just did a nice long dry wash run and there wasn't one speck in there. Hardly any heavy irons and things but and the dry wash is already set up there um but we weren't skunked thankfully the uh that first tributary sample we did of that red rich red dirt a little pac-man piece there at the bottom but uh got a few colors in there and that's about a half a bucket worth so we're already way out here today we're going to go ahead and hike the dry washer up in there and really give that uh, uh, that tri that ancient pay uh, area a go. Maybe scan the walls with a metal detector. The Gold Monster 1000. See if we can't find any pickers or anything in there. Larger flakes. But yeah, so I've got to hike the dry washer back to the ATV here. Pack it up the another direction. Hike way up in there with it. And. Uh, well, I'm glad we weren't skunked. I mean, it's not a lot of gold, but let's do a nice run of that at old ancient uh, pay. And the nice thing is when you get into a uh, old river channel that's not in, down in the wash, it's completely nice and dry. So we'll be able to run that really well. That's easy to pick too. So, all right, guys, we'll be back set up over uh, about a mile from here <laughs> right now. All right, a couple of videos ago, uh, we had found some gold in this old ancient channel in here. And it's kind of a big old flood silt layer on top, and it goes down this real compacted rock layer. Been picking away at that and feeding it through the dry washer. But today what I'm going to do, let me go over here and show you. Some bedrock sticking out right here. And then if you look in there, it exposes another old layer up in there, uh, old creek layer, river channel. Uh, quartz stringers in this rock all through it. But I'm going to follow this bedrock up in here. Um, I will save hiking that dry washer. At least we know there's gold there, so that's good. We've got a whole other area to work, and we've got tons and tons and tons of yards. Of that old uh, river channel, that bright, rich, red river channel to work. Um, 
So I think I'm going to follow this bedrock and see if it dives down in here. Vacuum it off and move a bunch of this through it. And, uh, whew. All right, we'll see you on the first clean out. Guys, look at that. Broke into there a little bit, but I've, I found this bedrock is really jagged and I've been busting it apart with my pick. We're going to feed all that in the dry washer. Oh, wow. And look at all the black sands. This is obviously old river channel way up here. What I thought was uh, mostly just old bench. It's like all river channel. All right, I'm gonna feed the dry washer. Pretty quick here, so much black sand. We're gonna do a clean out. Look at it, it's mostly all broken bedrock with all the materials that were in between. I can already tell there's a lot of buildup of black sand in this box. By the, guy, by the way, guys, stick around to the end of the video. Thanks to Chris Nelson being a generous uh, addition to the Patreon family. We are giving away two good gold bags a month now. We're almost going to be doing three. So we're going to go home and pick two winners this time. That's not bad odds. There's about 12 Patreons, and we're going to be doing two to three winners pretty soon here, so that's pretty good odds, guys. All right, let's uh, do a clean out here. Pretty quick. I guess I keep wanting to dig it because I'll be breaking all this bedrock up. I just want to keep feeding it and feeding it and feeding it. Ah! Yeah, the box. This is the small explorer, by the way. If I knew I was going to be working this close to uh, the ATV, I would have love to have the bigger dry washer but this this little guy still gets it done just have to wait a little bit before you put the next shovel in but i could see a massive build up of heavies in this box let's get this cleaned out and hopefully see some gold yeah that's all old river gravels a very very well engineered machine I'd recommend these any day of the week hey, that's like actually shaking the hose all the way across here it's a little bit above idle I found that to work best over here in the shade oh yeah it's a bunch of colors showing up up here but A lot of colors, just nothing really big. It's kind of loaded all the way down through there. Yeah, there's a lot of pieces of gold in there. I count about 20 plus in there. Well, it looks like the larger flakes and everything is down even deeper. So when we went over to here which right on top of the old smoothed bedrock uh, and moving more more larger rocks the flakes were definitely larger so I may jump back in here for a little bit about an hour and uh, give it heck and head out but uh, I want to be there when Amy gets home uh, <laughs> alright guys Guys, I love bringing you along on these things, even though when we don't find piles of gold. But we're so far back in here. We got a jump box and lots of water and food, but I hope this thing doesn't go down. Or uh, Again, we've been doing some serious rock crawling to get in here, but check this out, this old history. I bet you not even a handful of people have seen this. It's like part of an old railroad trestle. Basically, you've got to go over, straight over a mountain, down a mountain, over a couple more, way up a, an old wash. And look at that. That is some really neat history, guys. Very few people have seen. 
it's kind of covered up with erosion from the hillside above, but uh, wow. Really cool. Oh, also, when I was walking after I found those couple railroad spikes, I'd found this. I don't know if it's like an old kind of like homemade spike because they ran out of them or something, but see, it's kind of rounded in the bottom part and then kind of flat on top. It's just kind of made. Like I said, I don't know if they didn't have enough spikes for their interesting though I'm just uncovering all the massive amounts of history I find going up and down hillsides back here all right we're gonna start wandering back and see if we run into anything else so we went ahead and on the way out here tunneled up into the bedrock cut there uh, a little bit more did a little bit more of a run got a lot of little colors a couple better sized ones but before we leave, I'm going to go ahead and clean this bedrock. Unfortunately, it's still pretty smooth bedrock, but getting taking it all. Let's see how we do. Yep, got some uh, nice couple nice colors in there, and a lot of a lot of finds. But again, we spent a lot of the day out sampling and sampled a couple of wrong areas. So we'll go. We'll know right where to work next time. All right, guys, let's see at the house. That's not working. Let's try this. That was quicker. All right. Got a new dredge. Big old three inch dredge. Went from the two and a half. See the size difference. <laughs> more riffles, more width, more length. Bigger punch plate zone with miner's moss under it. And big dredge high banker combo. AMB prospecting in Prescott Valley sells these. I'm sure as well as Mesa, but uh, this thing's awesome. We got a new three inch dredge nozzle over there, some three inch hose, and uh, yeah, this thing's cool. We'll probably get this out this Sunday. I'm gonna put some wheels, some big fat tires on the back, kind of mount brackets to it, and uh, be able to kind of pick it up from the front end, put like a tow hook, not a tow hook, but a a handle I can pull up on and just wheel this to where I want to go. Can't wait to see, see this in action, guys. And it's three inch, so we can use this on uh, other projects going. <laughs> on uh, Roadrunner claims, etc. I kind of wish they allowed four inch, but yeah, we stepped up, guys. Can't wait to get this out there. Put the wheels on it, a little fold-up handle or something to kind of pull it. All right. All right, let's go do the giveaway. Ah, the heck with waiting for Amy to get home. I have got, got Chris Nelson added here. The correct number of entries per person. I do have to go get more gold bags, obviously. I have to go pick up a couple more. I usually get a bunch all at once, but... Uh, um, 
again, leave a comment from this video and uh, uh, just be subscribed. And next video, we'll do a random comment selector. It might be as early as this Sunday if we get that dredge out Sunday. So I'm going to put all these into the pile here and pick two Patreon this month. Let's try to mix these up better. Here's the first winner of this month. Number is that a five? Number five, Steve Young. You won again. I think you won last month. So we're sending one of these all the way to, I believe, Missouri. Okay, another one this month. The chances are getting better, guys. We're giving away more bags. Pretty soon it'll be three every month, and we're going to start doing a uh, subscriber. Uh, Comment giveaway one. Number number nine. Jeffrey Hagen. All right, Jeffrey Hagen. That's Jeff's Midwest Gold Adventures. Uh, guy's amazing with an Equinox 800 metal detector looking for silver coins, dredging with gold hog mats. Okay, one gold bag on its way this week to Missouri and one to Iowa. 